What's up guys, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the first two effects that I've ever learned, and that is the transparency effect, and the invisible cloak effect. Both of these effects are extremely easy, so this video is primarily meant for those of you who are first diving into editing. All right, let's first talk about the filming process. What we first need to film is the clean plate, which is basically an empty background. I use this in a lot of my effect videos. This is a crucial element in these effects because without the clean plate, you will have random inconsistencies in your shot, especially with the transparency and the invisible cloak effect. All right, so for the transparency effect, all you have to do is again capture that clean plate and then have a second shot of you standing in the frame pretending like you're turning invisible. That's all you really need to do, but really sell this effect with your reaction. So a lot of good facial expressions can go a long way. All right, now that we've got that filmed, let's go ahead and grab our green screens. Now, hopefully you captured another clean plate if you're at a different location, but if you're shooting at the same location and your camera's on a tripod, you don't really need to worry about that. Just make sure you have that clean plate. Once you have the clean plate, all you have to do is again, capture your reaction shot with you throwing the green screen over your body. Don't worry if there's some dark spots in your green screen, a little bit of inconsistency is okay in the green screen because when it comes down to the invisible cloak effect, we really want it to look like you're putting on a cloak and not just you immediately turning invisible. You'll see more why in editing. Now, before we jump into editing, make sure you download Filmora now by clicking on the link in the description box below. Here we are in Filmora. We're gonna start with the transparency effect. I believe that's this clip right here. We're just gonna drag and drop it onto our timeline. I'm going to grab a clean plate and we're gonna basically convert it to an image. All we have to do is select the clip, then go to tools and select add freeze frame. We can always adjust the length of the freeze frame by dragging these gray bar handles right here. Once you have created the freeze frame of your clean plate, place your reaction shot on top of that. And now watch how easy it is to edit this effect. We're gonna double click on the reaction shot. We're gonna scroll down under basic parameters and go to opacity. That's all it really is. We just have to adjust the opacity. You see how easy this effect is? But instead of just having it go right to transparent, we're gonna actually animate the effect. So we're gonna add a little keyframe in the beginning of the clip at full 100% opacity, then go to another part of the clip and drop down the opacity, let's say to, let's get down to 30%. That's all you need to do. And if you play back the shot, you will see the animation of that opacity dropping. Now let's create the invisible cloak effect. Basically, the process is very similar. I'm gonna drag and drop the shot here. I'm gonna find my clean plate and create a freeze frame of it. Now I'm taking my reaction shot or the shot of me putting on the green screen and put it on top of the clean plate. Now watch how easy it is to edit this effect. Double click on the reaction shot, then go to AI tools and enable chroma key. That's all you have to do. And those little inconsistencies in the green screen, like these little shadowy areas are perfect because it makes it look more like you're putting on a cloak rather than having it be 100% invisible. And then when you play it back, you get that awesome Harry Potter invisible cloak effect. And it's as simple as that. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in another one. Peace.